Natural gas is a very important uh, fuel, fossil fuel in the United States. Its uh, significance has increased uh, since the uh, hydrofracking operations to produce shale gas as a non-conventional source for natural gas. Now, the, uh, the production of natural gas through hydrofracking uh, or other uh, techniques is beyond the scope of this course, but we will focus on the processing of natural gas as it comes out of the ground. The main component uh, of natural gas is methane, but it also contains heavier hydrocarbons, principally ethane, propane, butanes, uh, and pentanes, which may be referred to as the natural gas liquids. In addition, the raw gas could contain significant amounts of water, hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and, and nitrogen in some cases. So there is a need to process the natural gas as it comes out of the ground before it is uh, sent to or fed into the pipeline uh, system for uh, transport to remote locations. There are essentially four uh, components of natural gas processing, which are oil and condensate removal, and sulfur and carbon dioxide removal. Sulfur comes out as H2S mainly. Uh, removing water is important. And the uh, separation and fractionation of natural gas liquids. That's anywhere from uh, butane or propane butane up to uh, pentanes. Now, as we have talked about uh, before, these natural gas liquids are, uh, in a sense, new feeds to the refinery as, as liquid materials to be blended into uh, practically to gasoline uh, product as an additional feed material. So it's important uh, that we really look at this natural gas processing techniques. Now, for processing of natural gas, we use pretty much the same techniques as we have in petroleum refining. One major uh, process is, of course, removal of H2S and carbon dioxide as acid gases. We'll use the um, amine absorption or solutions that contain the base uh, ethanolamine or diethanolamine to ab ab absorb these acid gases, H2S and uh, carbon dioxide, which are, of course, sent to sulfur recovery using, again, the similar techniques that we've talked about for uh, petroleum refining, that is the Klaus and, and also the Scott uh, method. The separation and fractionation of natural gas liquids uses essentially the same processes as we have talked about in the light ends unit in a petroleum refinery to uh, separate uh, ethane and, and butane and propane and the heavier uh, liquids in this unit um, that's essentially going to be uh, a, a similar uh, setup as we have talked about in the light ends unit.